Hi, my name is Toby Brown. I'm a Sonoma County Master Gardener. I'm working at Harvest for the Hungry Garden. And th this is the beginning of September. And I bet right now you're looking forward to planting garlic. And it's almost time. We usually plant garlic in this county from about uh, mid-October through the beginning of December. If you don't get it in then, you can plant it, but skip those winter months. But right now, get ready. So what you need to do is decide what garlic you want to plant. Now you may be lucky enough to have some garlic that you have grown the previous year. And this is some of our garlic that we grew just this last year and we harvested in uh, early June. This garlic should be ready to be planted um, and when we're ready in October. So we know this one works, so we might as well plant it again in our garden. You can also go to the nursery. Make sure you go to a nursery rather than just buying it from the grocery store. A lot of times they have inhibitors sprayed on them, even if they're organic, so that they won't sprout as easily. So you want to make this as easy as possible because this is a delicious, delicious uh, vegetable and you want it to last and have lots of it and have great big bulbs. So what you need to do now is think about what kind of garlic you want. What are you going to use it for? Mostly, hopefully, you're using it for cooking because you add it into almost every dish that you, that you uh, cook. At least I do, that's for sure. Um, so your choices are hardneck and softneck garlic. Garlic seems expensive when you go to buy a bulb. It's, you know, oftentimes 18 to $24 a pound. But remember that when you break this apart, there's a whole bunch of garlic cloves that you will be able to plant in there. You don't plant the whole bulb at once. So, um, soft neck garlic. Soft neck garlic is delicious. It's forgiving. It can grow uh, when the temperatures are pretty warm. Um, and it doesn't need super fabulous soil. So that's a, a really good one for everybody to plant some soft neck garlic. The skin, the reason, and it also, it lasts a long time. The skin is really tight on each clove. And what that does, it makes it a little harder to peel, but it's wonderful because it holds that freshness in. It lasts, shelf life is almost twice as much as the hard neck garlic. Um, let's see, it's, it's also easy to braid if you want to braid garlic, but, but remember, if you take garlic and braid it, uh, usually you hold it, you put it up in your kitchen, um, which is great, but it's awful warm. It won't last very long. So I would suggest don't braid all of your garlic um, and don't just buy for that. So hardneck is your other choice. Now, the downside of hardneck is it doesn't last as long. Those skins don't stay as close to the, the clove as in the soft neck. However, it's very easy to peel. Lots of garlic experts prefer hard neck garlic. They believe that it has um, a more robust flavor. And it is does have this nice false flower stem. So really it's not great for braiding, but you know, braiding is, is, is something you do um, just for fun, basically, or for storage. So you can't braid it, but this false flower stem is wonderful because it has um, scapes that grow off of it. And lots of people love to eat those scapes. Uh, it is an intermediate level garlic, which means that it does prefer a cooler winter than we have. So if you live in a cooler part of the county, this may be easier for you to grow than somebody that lives uh, where it's a little bit warmer consistently through the winter. This one also is a little fussier on the soil. It prefers amended soil. Um, so, you know, you may want to, if you've had um, other crops in where you're going to plant your garlic, you may want to amend that soil. And that's something that you can do right now getting ready for planting garlic. So I hope you find the perfect garlic for you. Do your research and we'll be back when we're ready to plant.